Hello grade 6, welcome to week 1. We will be discussing lesson 1.1, describing and classifying matter. I hope you are all ready to gain knowledge and have fun in the first week of school. For the first two days of this week, we will be breaking the ice. You will get to meet your teacher, which is me. We will go over our classroom rules. We will watch a video that will show us our classroom rules, and then we will be divided into groups, and I will give out cardboards so you can write the main rules of our classroom. And then we will watch a video that helps us understand what is science. And why is it important? Why do we study science? How does science help us in our daily life? How is it embedded in real life? Why do we study science and why it is important? And then we will do a few activities uh, regarding this topic. And we will discuss an important topic, which is climate change. You will get to know what climate change is. And we will do a few activities that will help us know how to control the change and how we can contribute to help stop climate change or decrease it. As for this week's objectives, we will explain what matter means and give example. We will know the term of matter and what are some examples of matter. And then we will have to uh, know the two terms, physical property, and chemical property. We will know what physical property is and we will give examples. As for the chemical property, we'll know what it means and we will give examples. We will differentiate between physical and chemical properties. We have to differentiate between these two properties. And then we will identify the components of matter. There are a few components of matter that we will get to know. For this week, we will know the components of matter, which are atom and elements. We will know their meanings. We will give example and we will understand more and more of the what matter is and its components. As for this week's activities, we will practice our knowledge through live worksheets. So every time we finish a small part of the lesson, we will practice what we learn through live worksheets. Also, we will practice organizational skills through a graphic designer to differentiate between physical and chemical properties. Since we know what physical property means and what chemical property means, and we will discuss examples of it, we will be able to differentiate between them using a graphic designer. And then we will watch a simulation that can help us distinguish between physical and chemical properties. This is a very interesting activity. We will open a simulation of a place that includes two that, in, that includes a lot of examples which can be distinguished as either physical or chemical. You will be able to distinguish between these two properties by giving examples through the simulation that we will be watching. Also, we will read articles to help us get the full picture in our lessons. We will read a lot of articles as extra practice and to gain extra knowledge, and we will try to summarize what we gain from this article so we can get a full picture of the whole lesson. And we will use online quizzes to assess our knowledge. Of course, we have to assess our knowledge and know if we're doing well or not by online quizzes that I will be sharing with you. Thank you so much, grade six. This pretty much sums up what we will be taking during this week. I hope you are ready to learn new knowledge and are eager to gain the new ideas and topics that we will be discussing. If you need any help during this week, 
in any term or any topic, please make sure to ask me. I'm always here to help you and support you. Thank you so much.